Megan's also making French bread. Look at you. Look at all the stuff you got going on. Well, okay, so. You're like Martha Stewart over here or something. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to another day, another day, another day at the Norps. Uh, um, today we have a lot to do, which is good. But first things, we're gonna head over to Costco. Eve, we are coming to Eve to restock. And what we've been doing at Costco lately too is getting a little bit extra each time to put away. So. We've been buying like a 25 or a 50 pound, 50 pound bag of rice each time we go, which is not like super cheap. I think they're like $20 though. Um, and we're just adding it on each time or maybe some canned tomatoes or some beans, stuff like that, and, or some pasta. And we've just been kind of stacking them in the garage. And so when we get home from Costco, we need to do some rearranging and cleaning of the garage. So that just because my, has been like really overwhelmed with the messiness of the garage, but also because um, I want to know like what our food storage like status is and like what we've got and be able to like easily see it. We've had food storage, um, you know, levels rise and fall throughout the year, especially when we were traveling, we got rid of pretty much everything. We did keep some buckets of wheat, which we used last year when everything was crazy to make bread with. I think we, we need to start adding flour too to our um, Costco things that we grab extra. But anyways, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're also gonna be helping out with the nieces and nephews, go to the pool with them, which will probably be really welcome after cleaning out the garage mm. when we get back. Okay, get in your seatbelt, let's go. Bye. Okay. We're in the store. Okay, they don't have the 50 pound bag, but they do have a 25 pound bag of this for really cheap. Um, last time we, we bought that, babe. Mom! This is so cheap though. Should we get this? Yeah. Okay, we got some pasta. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we've just been getting little things like that. It definitely makes a little bit I mean, more expensive. You don't have too much stuff, but. <laughs> it, it definitely makes it more expensive to add those on, but it's in such small amounts that you can you can handle it. You excited to help, Eve? I think we can probably put this in. Oh, you want to put the pasta in specifically? So bright. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, all loaded up. You want to push that button? Try again. Yeah! <laughs> you can see here that we've kind of just got food storage items here. Maybe, mommy. Amidst paint and other stuff. And we have some over at our warehouse. And that there's just... The garage needs some help kind of figuring things out, so... We're gonna bring these things in and then do that. The next thing on the list is this garage. It has become a little bit of a disaster. Just, you know, projects and things sort of piling up, literally. So we're gonna to try to get it cleaned out, take a few things to Goodwill, and make it so it's a little more usable. Because right now it's, it's just like you walk in here and you wanna walk right out. You know how it goes. All right, phase one is uh, complete, which is just taking some stuff to the Goodwill. Kind of cleared out this whole area, which is just great. And then from there, we're gonna figure out how to organize some of these things. Some will probably maybe go to the warehouse. Other things, um, I don't know. Meanwhile, the cousins are over and doing one of the funnest things ever. It's a hose on the trampoline. He's a little bit more nervous about it, so she just hangs back over there. 
<laughs> Both of these shelves have been filled with like dishes and things. And so I've moved most of them off. This is some Christmas things I need to put in a box. And these are some things for the fall that is coming up soon. So I'm just gonna leave them there. Uh, I don't know, I gotta figure out those last little stragglers, but then I'm gonna start putting in food storage items in there because that makes more sense to me. As I'm doing this, I moved it all over. I realized it's too hot in here for this. We're gonna need to move some things around inside and bring this food inside. It's, you know, um, ideally you want it to be 70 degrees or below where you store food and it's probably 80 to 85 in here just because of the position of our house. Like in the afternoon sun, it gets hit. So we really need to find a place. I think under the stairs, we might have to pull the things that are there out and store inside. Um, I'm not wanting to, I don't necessarily need to store this like long, long term. I will be rotating through this, but I still, it's just not a great, it's just not a great place. It's too warm. Mike is back from the warehouse. I've got stuff in that van. It's gotta come in to this garage. Okay, but we need to talk about, we have a few options for the food. First is try to clear out under the stairway. Mm. And everything that's in there gets out, except for like the brooms and stuff. And we put stuff in there. Okay. Or we do the like method I don't like as much, but I know a lot of people like store it like under beds and stuff. Yeah. Reason I don't like it as much is I think it's harder to rotate through right. when you're like just stubbed under things, like in a closet where you can go and look at it, it's easier. Yes. What do you think? It's just way too hot. Oh, for food. Well, then, yeah, we just got to figure out how we're going to get inside. Um, we with our arms? Huh? With our arms? Yes, with our arms. Um, I think we should do, see if we can figure out some sort of shelving under that, under the stairs. You like the sound of that, don't you? You want to build some shelving real bad. Well, I have the material to do it. Okay. So. Okay. So we have art and this art and the cart. The cart can definitely go somewhere else. All that art needs to be. What's behind it? Like a sleeping bag and like a guitar, just some random stuff. Well, what would be best is if we moved these to this side. So, and then you have shelves over the whole thing, you know? Because you can't put shelves on both sides, but if you could put shelves the whole way. Yeah, that's um, true. Just shelves that obviously stay on the floor. Unless we just, um, gosh, we got a lot of kids here. Unless we don't want to do that and we do a better job of organizing in the pantry. Well, here's the other thing. The pantry is not super organized. I know, but that, we're not, we can't put that stuff in there. Mm. Maybe some can stuff, but, or we use the yeah. coat closet. Yeah, because once you build those shelves, also currently undervalued and just a mess. Boy, I can't believe we're showing people this. It's a mess in here, but oh, you really... I think it looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, this isn't like my catch-all for things I don't want to take care of right now. I could build because we have the material for it. I could do shelves that are about as deep as this is that just go up and again they'd be freestanding so they're not gonna and then we, we could actually use those somewhere else because the thing we would make for under the stairs is so custom to fit to that thing yeah. we couldn't but use this would be building. definitely more useful yeah just like two by four sides and mm -hmm. yeah and then so i have plywood and let me see what how would you have plywood like this okay whatever okay so we mm -hmm. i don't have to explain every piece of it but Okay. Anyways, I think that would be also an option. I think that's a really good option. Well, the only, when Elijah comes and this becomes his bedroom, I guess, are we going to get him a little closet that goes in here? I don't know. I can't consider all these things, okay? Well, I think the last thing we showed was the garage. It's now um, about 8.15. Megan decided to make some bread. Well, we're out. We were out. So... It took a little while to, to rot, raise. I used some old, well, I have, I used a different yeast that was just in a baggie in the freezer. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, still but alive. I think it's old. I just need to throw it out. These oh. didn't rise as high as usual. I guess I should have used that yeast. Yeah. But they look good to me. Okay. Might be a little bit more dense. Let's see. Yeah, they're not. Not quite as fluffy. <laughs> it's 
today, so it's my second time back after a break. Uh -huh. And the first time I had to look at the recipe, but today I barely read to so. Wow, you're getting good. Well, I just, it feels good when you, you know what you're doing and it just gets easier and easier. There was a time where uh, we baked all our bread every week. You did. I did a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. that's when we were doing wheat bread. So we would grind the wheat every week. <laughs> Sounded like a jet engine in our kitchen. Yeah, I know. You're wearing these painting clothes. Did you do any painting today? Yes. What did you paint? A frame. Where was I? Oh, the frame outside. Yeah, okay. That's why I have. Did you show that at all on this? I don't think so. It's nothing special. It's not like a art project. Is it worth showing? Great art. Okay. So there's this rubbing at the thrift store. It was all like the paper was kind of all wrinkled and it was on sale for $5. And I figured, I mean, it was. Probably most people wouldn't buy it because it was kind of too damaged. But I glued it down to this board. Mm -hmm. And then I made this frame for it. I don't really know. It's probably, I mean, it's just a rubbing. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, there's no glass to protect it. And once I glue this together, it's done. But it's cute for the boys' bedroom because they have the medieval kind of mm. Harry Pottery thing going on. And so once yeah. this is all together and then I seal it and put... And make it distress it a little bit more. It's a cute little thing for the room. Yeah, I think it's great. It has an interesting, um, that's lots of holes in it. Hmm. So. I see the steam. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It does. The one nice thing about it is when it, you let it rise for that long, it does develop a little bit more complex flavor. Hmm. There you go. I'll try it. <laughs> And this is how the garage currently looks. Um, did not get finished with everything we need to kind of organize and move out of here, but we did brought this over from the warehouse so we could kind of consolidate all of Megan's paint stuff in these two kind of areas. And, you know, got some more stuff cleaned out of here. So we can walk around now, which is great. I think I already said that, but um, yeah. It's making progress. We'll pick up again uh, again on this next week. So what are we doing now? Well, this is project this is number 362. Um, what I was been meaning to do for a while, I, you and I both hate using all of the plastic and stuff, but those wax wraps are so expensive and I'm always like, oh, I should get some of those. But then I'm always like, oh, I bet you could make them. Yes. Can. And this is my first attempt. I'm using a little piece of fabric. It's actually like a little pocket square that came with a bow tie of Jude's. But okay. you know, pocket square, you don't have to wear that. So you put parchment paper underneath, a towel, parchment paper, the fabric, and the beeswax. You, we happen to have this beeswax. And then. And then this old. This is like an old iron. That this is a craft iron that my friend Sandy was getting rid of it, and I was like, oh. We use this when we need to make things hot and don't care about the iron getting stuff on it. So the idea is you're just spreading the wax. Out and onto the fabric. Okay. And, and then what? Then you'll be able to reuse these again and again. For food storage. Seems like you need more. That's what I watched a video. So you I watched a video? Now. I watched more than one, so Whoa, I am. Oh, you're an expert. Mm -hmm. You watched a video, now we're making a video on how to do it. Well, I'm not making a how to video, so. Oh, I am. I'm going to call this how to make wax wrap things. You can wax, see it like, things. you can kind of see the wax. Ooh, it's like pushing melting. through. Does it smell good too? I think beeswax smells good. Right now it just smells like hot iron, so it sounds it smells like Sunday morning. <laughs> and we're always ironing for church. Look at that. Do you, you just do it to one side or do you do both sides? I think just one. Really? Well, this is just sealing it, you know? Uh-huh. I can see that I need some more wax. Maybe I just need to melt it more and 
There we go. Yeah, it might just need more time. Well, and we think we'll also do this to the the bread bags yeah, that I we have, have. We have some like bread bags that Daniel used, but they we they the bread dries out if you know in them because well, they're, they're just canvas. Just, yeah, they're not. So they, he used them more when he had his bread business as like a decorative thing, and they were still in a like plastic bread bag inside. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna see if we can wax them. So I'm assuming a thin layer is enough, but I guess. How will we you will know? find out. Well, I guess if I, because you want to be able to like wrap it. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it, it will form around it because okay. it's waxy. Will it stay pliable? Oh. I can't even see it on there. It'll have to dry. Wow. Okay. Well. So then I yeah, we'll see. think I'm going to smooth some bread. You're going to smooth some bread? Yep. Move some bread. We're waiting for the bread to dry over there. Or dry. Dry. <laughs> cool. It's late, okay? Now it's 9.15. I'm tired. You can kind of see already that it gets like... Yeah, it kind of holds its shape a little bit. Okay. I wonder if it needs to be thicker. Because like when you see it in pictures, they like put it over a jar and then they're able to like... Push it down and it stays. So that will test. And then I have some, uh, I have these really cute napkins. Those are the cutest. I know, Mike doesn't care about them, but I didn't even I look. Do. I didn't even look at it and I said that. I've learned to, to like agree with Megan on certain things without ever even looking at the Most thing. Most husbands have learned the art of that. Like, yeah, it looks great, honey. So my mom let me borrow her pinking shears. I just need to get some. It, though, that thing I just did is already like bound. What but if bound? It, like the edges. Oh. But if they aren't, like you might want to so it doesn't start to fray on you. And pinking shears, if you didn't know, um, the way it cuts the fabric, it like, it makes it less, like it won't, it won't fray as well as much. the way it's cut. I don't Whoa. really know why. I'm sure somebody can tell us it has something That's to do cool. with the fibers and the weave. And... Some smart person out there probably knows. Oh, I think you're supposed to do it on the opposite side now that I remember. <laughs> oh, the non-pretty side? Yeah. So I think it needs See? more. That's good. You practice on the other one mm -hmm. that you don't care about. Get your brain going. We're gonna need a lot more. Um, oh, I gotta Honey? do my. I have some French bread. I gotta do stuff. Megan's also making French bread. Look at you. Look at all the stuff you got going on. Well, okay, so you're like Martha Stewart over here or something. Oh man! Did you hear that bong? Yeah. Gong. We are gonna use. Oh look, we have one of these now. I had, I already bought one. Well, so it turns is... out we had it. We just didn't know where it was. Some people asked us why we weren't using it before. Yeah, it was still in the packaging. Because we're rebels, that's why. We, no, don't, but I we don't just do things by them, the rules. We, this, this countertop is a little bit crowded right now. Well, all I have to do is this a few times. Um, and then get I did brush that was the on cat the counter. right here just before this. Is that a big deal? It's, it adds like a... Um, authenticity to it, you know, because back in the hair? day, yeah, grandmas, great great grandmas, you know, so all of her cats. That's all you do. That's all. That's all you do, and then what? Oh, then you wait like another thirty minutes, and you have to do this for the next twelve hours, right? Mm -hmm. Every thirty I won't minutes. Be sleeping tonight. Good. I'm choosing this. It's like you have your own cooking show or something right now. I just find that. You think you'd be happier when you're relaxing. And you are. But only if you've been busy before that. Like, I don't know. I'm just happier when I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Especially for me, I'm happier when I'm busy creating stuff. Whether it's a bowl of soup or this or the bread or painting a piece of furniture. I just find that I'm happier. And it's like, well, why do you not do that all the time? It's like, I don't know. So it's like, well, do it. It's like, okay. Good okay. advice, Brain. Wow. 
Yeah, I'm happiest when I'm busy watching fail videos on Instagram. What happened now? This one feels much better. See already how it's like that? Oh, look at it. So yeah. is that because there was more or because you did it on the proper side? No, no, yeah, it was because it was a lot more wax. I was going, I was going, I was being frugal or stingy, whichever way you want to look Shouldn't at it. Shouldn't have done it. That's going to be good. And it smells good too. Well, this one's hooked. So it's okay. Yeah, that one's going to be better. I can already tell. So like if you wanted to like, let's say you're like, oh, okay, um, I'm going to take this half a lemon. Can we not see the inside of a refrigerator right now? And. Well, it's already in plastic. Why are you wrapping it in plastic? Okay, it doesn't work. But you could, in theory. Careful, that's a hot iron right there. Jeez. I think I'll just add a little bit more to it. There's just a little bit more to it, isn't there? Well. Now, this one I have to throw away because I accidentally. You did both sides. Yeah. Speaking of being not frugal. <laughs> I don't know how many times you guys can use this. Anybody who uses these, tell me how long they last for you. Tell me how much, if you bought them, how much did you pay for them? I want to make sure they can hear you. Because I would love to find beautiful fabrics and make beautiful ones. And if you're like, look, I don't like to make things. That doesn't make me happy. It's like, well, then let me make them. And I'll put them on our website. And Mike will ship them to you. Oh, Mike that's a good idea. Things. Seems like you need more. That's not very much. I already waxed this one. I'm I thought you waxed more. the other side. No, I won't. I don't. I'm not worried about that. You're not. It I already am. has wax. Like it's already slightly pliable. It'll be fine. Hmm. This is you where suddenly you know how to do these. We're gonna have to agree to disagree on this one, Megan. So how did it work? The other one. Great. Okay. Now what are you doing? Oh, this is now. This is the bag, right? This is the bag. Did you turn inside out? No. How do matters? you do this? Um, is it going to soak through? No, I'll have to do the other side. Oh my goodness. You think I should have turned it inside out? I don't know. I don't either. I'm not a... I would think you'd want the wax on the outside. You might be right. I don't know. Otherwise, your bread might taste like beeswax. What well, worst thing could happen, I guess. That's the oh, one look. side. No, look. Did you just wax the whole thing? Wax on? Wax on. This is a wax on, wax on situation. That's cool. Well, I don't know. I, will it open? Like, I probably should open it now. Huh? Yeah. Otherwise, it might get like glued shut. Ooh. Is it hot in there? Mm -hmm. Is it going to burn your hand? No. You're going to have like Freddy, <laughs> Freddy, Freddy Krueger hands. Freddy McKrueger. Smells really good. Oh, do I don't have smell vision on this? Okay, well, um... Let's let that cool and then see how it how it does. That's a good idea, though. Wow! Look Apparently, at it. Apparently, that doesn't work. Okay, this one is nice and cool now. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. 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 So what do so we do? So let's say you had a bowl. Okay. And is that, that looks kind of big. You put something in it, and then. I don't know if this actually works. It does work. I hope. I'm losing faith in the wax. You are? It just doesn't seem like it's actually going to make a real seal. Think around. about your plastic wrap in your fridge and tell me that's a good seal. I, Am I right, I've people? seen the commercials where they turn upside down nothing comes out. That's a baggie. Come on, no. look. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's put some. Yeah. Let's put something in there and do that and see what happens. Your plastic wrap wouldn't stay on. Here, well, we're gonna do in a... the commercial, it does. No. Well, I don't get the expensive kind that's in the commercials, but what do you? Now, aren't we? We're missing the tab. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you can put water in there and it would stay. No, it's I'll not. Show you. I'll show you. It no, was, stop. Okay, oh, now Astros, this Astros happens to work me. fairly well. Look at that. Okay, though, that is not sustainable. Watch, watch, watch. It's like a drum. Mom, watch. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's okay. It doesn't actually need to be that. So, let's say, let's say you also, here's a piece of bread. Let's say you had a little sandwich. This is too big for a sandwich. <laughs> no, it's not. But there's more. No. 
But if you have a sandwich, there's two pieces of bread. Okay, well. That <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> it did. Look at that. You got to clean it up. <laughs> See how okay. cute is that? That is cute. But if you now you can treat this more like the sandwich. I think you just smashed that sandwich, by the way. Whoa, don't do that. You smashed it. I didn't smash it. Look at that. The bread in there is smashed, I assure you. Well bread? that's it's an end, so you know. Anyways, I and think then that, you just... just drop it into the sink. <laughs> Infomercials. Me and Asher both like the water all over. Well, I say it worked. I say. I say. I missed. By the, the way, it's Saturday night, so the kids are allowed to play video games. Okay, get off our back. Can we make it into some sort of hat? Well, don't this put that food, food in there now. Gross. gross. Are your hair, is your hair clean? No. No. <laughs> you now, can just what hold you don't it. want is just like a bunch of randos. That's why I was gonna do the napkins I got at the thrift store mm. so that all of your things in your fridge are covered with the same pattern. Oh, that's a good idea. But I those look better too because those are bigger. I also thought about using vintage linens. This is a vintage pillowcase, but it's I such don't know. a cute pattern. What I wonder is do we need to go through this whole thought process on the video? Well, I just, this is one of my, this okay. is my laying in bed or in the bathtub idea. That I find so many linens at the thrift store, but like might be a random pillowcase. But I thought, what if you could cut it into like pieces and then make it into great like wax fabric hmm. things? Mm -hmm. So, Eve's so that's just something room. I'm thinking about. But there are a lot of napkins at the thrift store. Totally. So, okay. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Well, so this will take what a few hours to. We got one bag. It's cool now. Should we try to put some bread in it? Let's try and see what happens. And then let's wait overnight and see if the bread is, um, you know. Waxy, it smells, I mean it has a, but that's such, it's like a honey. I don't think it's fine. You won't it's notice like a that. a sweet honey smell, so. Honey pie. It feels very um, like timeless. I feel like legit. I know that. And I mean, that's you what it's all about. You feel so right? legit. Maybe the part of the problem is, is that you need a, a nice, tight. Yeah. Dude, I've seen the way our bread bags are in the pantry. Oh, man. These kids are always losing the twisty ties. Okay. I don't know. I guess know. you could go. When it's like that, you could just go like this and fold it. Now, another That's thing I've always down. wondered about is bread boxes. Back in the day, everybody had bread boxes, but the bread's still gonna, do people put like a bowl of water in there or something? Like how do you keep your bread from getting stale in a bread box? Who knows? Well, they might know. Oh, you're asking them, okay. Yeah, because my children are like. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's got a chance? Well, I think, it does. I think it's it's worth a shot. Here, let's see if it's um. No, oh, no. <laughs> don't do that. Impervious to water, but no. So you don't seem like you're a big fan. Are you saying I shouldn't make four more bags? No, let's the make them. This you do it, but I'm not going to record the whole thing because this now we've nope, like you're going to record the whole we've thing. Linked, We're doing it, people. Let's we've do made it. this video twice as long as it originally was, yeah. just from all this. Eleven o'clock at night, so naturally it's time to uh, hang a mirror. Right, Mom? Here, why don't you hit that light for me, Asher? We can see in here. Hit the light. There we I've go. I've been promising <laughs> the hammer this the right for way. a long time, and I brought up this other thing. Whoa, was... dude, watch what you're doing. <laughs> I brought up this other thing I was working on to look at, and then this was just sitting on their floor, and I said, Okay. okay. I'll do it. Especially because tomorrow's Sunday, and they want to be able to like get ready. There he is. In their own mirror. Does it work? Yeah. Can you see yourself in it? Okay. Good. You're not a vampire. No vampires here. Thank you very much. And then... Um, I'm not completely done with this, but... Look at this. It's cute. Mom sprayed it with something and it... Made the paper bubble, but I kind of think it it's age. cool. Yeah. It's actually going down, so maybe it'll go away. Um, okay. I, I'm just going to do a little bit more to it. Um, make a little bit more metallic and then... I think it's gonna go right here. And when you guys look at it, let it remind you of honor and defending truth. 
truth and goodness and virtue. In the American way. No. Think Superman. Okay. When you see it, what is it going to remind you of? Honor. Uh, on, honor. And defending <laughs> truth and virtue. Good job. You know, mom's got a mom. It's the last, the last turn of the loaf for the day. Mm-hmm. And then uh, put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm stuck. <gasps> Okay. This actually works pretty well. Maybe too close. Too close? Yeah. What do you gotta do? Just put uh, a wax thing over it? Do you have a wax thing you can put over it? Okay. Feels good. I like the feel of wax, you know, when you play with candles. Uh huh. It smells I so play with good. Them all the time. Okay, look at that. I think it would be better if I did it the way I did it the first time. Kind of locks it. Kind of like, is that kind of what you do with dough when you're making? Like a pie? Yeah. Yeah, or like pin tucks or something. That Who knows? <clears throat> okay, maybe? Definitely, feels good. Maybe definitely? Yeah. Will it fit in this refrigerator or do you have to take it out? The I take it outside. Well, out to the garage, okay. Well, I think that is going to be the end of the video for today. So thanks for coming along, like, comment, subscribe only comment nice comments so um and uh we'll <laughs> and we will <laughs> see you next time <laughs> bye